So welcome to a very rapid and spontaneous Cordello tasting. I thought I'm, uh, I have to make this video in five minutes. So we are drinking two beautiful uh, Godellos. That's a flagship five grape variety. So maybe among those three best in Spain. I mean, Verdejo, uh, Albariño, and maybe Godello is the third one. Maybe also the best known, but I have to keep it in five minutes. So I, we are drinking two beautiful wines from Castilla y León, so that's northwest of Spain. Uh, one is from León, so just south of the town down, and the other one is Pierto, that's also actually bordered in Galicia, so a bit more western part. And maybe just a little bit about the grape, it has very small size berries, very tight bunches, very early ripening variety, susceptible to arthritis and other mildews. Um, yeah, and very high yielding if it doesn't have too much green harvesting and very sugar rich berries actually. So, start with the Neko 2021. It's actually a tank sample I received from Tampesta from the winery. But I already mentioned maybe Verdejo, that's actually the sibling uh, grape variety. Maybe I'll put this variety a little bit in uh, perspective, then maybe we're gonna, yeah generated more that we have it in the bottle because already uh, only a few wines or a few hundred hectares left in the world from this Codeo in the 70s but now only in Galicia, the supposed home of the grape variety, there are more than thousand uh, hectares of this grape supposedly already in Portugal and so so actually in the 80s was was really the resurgence of this grape variety. The nose is very very motivated, very aromatic I would say, it's really fresh from the tank, you can feel it's really tar, almost licorice like, this uh, kind of black candy like kind of uh, flavours but also mint, eucalyptus, um, some hint of bay leaves, white grapefruit, pomelo like aromas, um, a hint of creaminess, greeniness, so I would say it's not the freshly cut grass but almost kind of cat pea aromas that you might know from Sauvignon Blanc. Wow, very nimble acidity, but very ripe organic acidity, I would say, so it doesn't scrape your mouth, it's not so electric. Wow, slightly burned and cre grilled, kind of peachy, grilled maracuya, kind of aftertaste, it's almost stringent, so this kind of licorice notes come through. And the alcohol is also palpable, and it has this really zesty and stringency. Medium long after, medium to long aftertaste, I would say. So it's, it's really dense, it has a nice textured wine, it has a nice salinity also to it, more testy salinity, astringent. And uh, I would recommend it with any seafood actually, or with a little bit saltier dishes. But let's go for the other one. So we are already in uh, Bielto, which is maybe more known for Mathia, the indigenous uh, red grape variety, but I would say it's also an epicodeo. So it's also hand harvested, uh, fermented with native yeast, so very authentic wine, I would say. 30% alcohol, so the same as the Neko. The nose is not so pronounced, so maybe a bit more yeasty, so it doesn't shout at your face, I would say. It's more and more muted, like lime or maybe grapefruit kind of notes, but the nose is not so significant, not so aromatic than the other one. I did not speak tonight, it's Thursday in the current team. Wow, yeah, very bright, also very bright acidity as the other one, but very organic. Maybe a bit less salinity, I would say it's more on the fruitier side, a bit more generous, a bit more luscious, a bit more creamier texture. But the mid palate is almost airy, so it has some density, but it's almost kind of lingering, like a, like a green of a game, I would say. And that's so linear. The alcohol also shows up like after 10 minutes now I see the burn almost and like kind of memories of a sea breeze so not so saline than the other one not so stony and like even the stone I would imagine it's more like pretty acidity it doesn't have too, too many edges yeah maybe a bit more versatile also in the kitchen I would say because there's a refreshing acidity kind of cleanses your palate but also a bit more broader mouth fill and it's also 19 vintage but also very beautiful. So maybe just to summarize the two, um, Godeo has a high acidity kind of testiness, astringency, sometimes maybe this salinity or kind of inorganic element to it, kind of minerality if you want, 
but also kind of citrus fruits and also this coins or um, almost um, green apple-like aroma so very astringent very refreshing kind of what what you expect from also from Albarino but it maybe a bit warmer mouthfeel I would say so what a beautiful wine Godeo look it up I hope I didn't deceive you this evening and salute